sorry about the light. Welcome to my channel. My name is Shy, 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 Shy. Happy Sunday, y'all. Um, I've been at home all day. Well, I'm sitting all day because it's 4 o'clock. 4 p.m. Uh, Market, we didn't go to uh, our usual church because he had to work at a different church or whatever. And I was super duper shy. I think I'm gonna just make online church my thing, my go to now because I feel like it's more convenient. You know, that sounds really, really lazy, but it really is more convenient, especially now having to add an extra key to getting ready and stuff like that. Like a talking radio on a consistent schedule. And um, a lot of their church clothes is just a little anyway, like majority of them are too little like all their little khakis and stuff like that is too little and i hate to see my kids out any kind of way to church wearing jeans and stuff that that like my mom and them did not play that when we was growing up wearing jeans and stuff at church but um yeah i'm a little irritated because today dad didn't put no gas in the car once again and i have to stop once again at a gas station i don't like going to gas stations especially over here and like keep leave enough gas in here to where i have to go to a gas station in this area i hate going to these gas stations anywhere where it's a crowd of dudes or anything like that hanging out hanging around i don't like to stop at those type of stores like no you couldn't pay me but uh anyway i'm headed to Back to that Ross. Uh, so good. I'm just so annoyed because I gotta put gas up here. But I'm headed back to Ross to get. Um, what am I headed back to Ross to do? Get something. Get some. Grab some stuff. I still gotta grab Shakari some underwear because I never got him no last night. I found the twins a pair, but I didn't find. Shakari in it, so I gotta go do that. And I'm gonna also run to Burlington and get their little Adidas crew neck out because even though it's not gonna be cold next week, well, the first couple days it's gonna be cool, but <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go get that out so they have those on hand. They have a polo jogger as well, and they have some other jogging pants too. Now it's not a hoodie because it's like thin. I don't know. Maybe I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's been a struggle. I know I have to go to the laundry mat to wash a lot of clothes. But the point of me going to wash those clothes is like either way to go, it's like I'm going to be salty because a lot of that stuff is pretty much too little for them. So I'm washing a lot of that stuff for no reason, really, when I could just be throwing it away. But yeah, I'm just a little like a little irritated because there's a lot of socks and stuff that has that I'm practically finna go have to wash just so I can figure out if it needs to be thrown in the garbage. So everything's already bagged up and separated. So it's like do I go through it now before I go to the laundry mat so I don't have to wash all that extra stuff? Or what? But I'm just annoyed trying to figure out what I'm going to do. First, I need to stop at a gas station and get some gas because he just pissed me off with that. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not in the mood for that. Extra-ish. But, yeah. I got this huge bump on my face and it's pissing me off. And the thing is, I don't usually break out. Like, I don't really have acne like that. Like, it's rare that I even get acne. not my best right now guys sorry Don't go chasing waterfalls. 
I swear to God. It's like the waterfall is chasing me. Cause like, I'm not used to this. Like, hold on, how do I say it? I'm not used to heavy flows, you know? So this is new to me. Like even after the boys, it wasn't like this. See, I can remember that much. Now the recovery at the car, I had stitches, so that I do remember. Like I had to have stitches after I had car or whatever. So that was that was a little tough. But I still did not bleed as heavy as I did as I am now with like you know after having her. And she was small too. I don't, I don't know. She was a single baby too. But it's like I guess the more kids you have, it's like the worse it is. I don't know. Cause I looked it up and that's what they were saying. But man, it's like the flow is flowing like right? TMI sorry I'm sorry but I'm being honest I'm like dang I don't remember <laughs> I don't remember all this y'all te technically we've been technical I really haven't had a period in like three or four years like for real for real like just a legit period like because I was on IED if you don't know I was on IED or whatever and I still didn't get one even after I got off the IUD, because I had got on the depo shot and I still didn't get one. But like with the IUD, sometimes you you have spotting and stuff like that. But other than that, it's like it was nothing crazy. But man, I'm sitting here like, bruh, this is too much. Alrighty, y'all, we headed in. Cross dress for this. Alrighty, y'all. So I grabbed what I needed to out of. Um, out of Ross and then I got the boy I found the boys outfit um or two outfits out of TJ Maxx they don't really have no summer clothes and like I said it's gonna be hot two days out of this no three days out of this a week but two days gonna be cold the first two days of the week gonna be cold it's gonna be 69 is the highest I believe it's gonna be but Alrighty y'all, so I've been back home for a while now. I didn't update y'all, but I've been back home for a while. <laughs> she looking out the corner of her eye at y'all. Hey mama again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, the boys are in their room. I'm supposed to be getting ready for bed, but they doing everything but that. I'm all my little power stuff I got up here. What is in there? Oh, my babies. That's shot shot stuff that I took down out of the closet that I didn't want to put back in the closet because, yeah. I use, I get something out that bag practically every day. But, like I told you, I went to Brillix, no, not Brillix, TJ Maxx and Ross. I went to Ross for their dad and then I went to TJ Maxx. For the boys some stuff which is in a room so how's that though yeah, they got this house looking a mess i mean a mess like you won't even be able to tell that i cleaned this house up oh man i'm just so irritated because like it's annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Having to keep cleaning up after somebody else, aside from yourself, is very, very annoying. And I know a lot of y'all like, well, that's the life of being a parent. Yeah, that's the irritating part about being a parent. Like, you have to clean up every single thing. Oh my God. Oh, no. Sorry, y'all. How are y'all? So, I'm gonna show y'all what I got. I was like, to find the boys, and then I made up the vlog because they finna get in trouble. They supposed to be up here, and I don't even have enough hair out for this side. This side is all full and poofy, and this side is like, what the rest of me at? But anyway, Shasha asleep. The two, uh, boys are in there in the bed. I, they got up. They just got the shower like maybe an hour ago. Um, oh yeah. So the outfit I found them, it was just like some little blue, um, what do you call these type of pants? Like, I guess some jogger shorts. We're gonna call them that. They just navy. Um, by the brand Tommy Bahama. If you know about that, TJ Maxx sell it. I think Marshalls do too, because they, you know, sister companies or whatever, cousins, something. They, I know they're related. So I got all the boys these. 
Um, I got all of them a five, six. All three of them have a five, six. Cause I, I just feel like the seven, eight was gonna be too big for the twins. Actually, I could have got them now. I'm thinking about it because these screens are these screens actually cool. The most of them just be for decoration. I'm gonna try these on them, and then if not, cause it's not gonna be warm until Wednesday. If if they can't, if they gonna be too little or look too small, I'll just go with the seven, eights. Cause they did have seven, eights. And then for those ones, I had really got this shirt, but they dad said the other shirt was better with it, so I um I'm just gonna switch it up. But this is the shirt they got, real cute, real simple. Um, it's also navy. Just make the the shirt. Um, and I got all three of them that. And then the next pair of shorts, it's the same as the blue ones, except they're just orange, a different color same sizes as well and then um the shirt this is the shirt for this one for the orange pants that i had but we're gonna switch it up and look at the navy ones with this and then we're gonna do the blue shirt with the orange shorts even though i didn't have it that way originally but yeah that's the outfit so we're not uh, all the pants were 7.99 and then the shirts were 5.99 so that came up to about 90 bucks with tax. Um, but yeah, I still have to go back tomorrow and get the rest of Chase school supplies. I did not get all of them. Like I said, Chance did not come home with a supply list. Neither did Shikari. Um, for the most part, K4 and K3 never required anything or asked me of anything. When the other boys went, or when they went to those, when, when the twins went to those grades, they never asked me for anything. So I don't think Shikari is going to need anything at all. And I'm just thinking in my head to just pretty much buy a chance when I buy Chase. But it's like I'm not sure if that teacher is going to be doing what the other teacher is doing. Or I don't know. But I didn't get a list for um, Chance. So I'm going to have to um, call up there tomorrow and speak to his teacher or whatnot. Or I'll, because I know if I go up there, he's going to, he's going to be in there. Um, is it a he or she? I don't remember which one. Miss. Now they both got female teachers, so his teacher's probably gonna be, you know, in the middle of getting class together, getting her students in class and stuff like that. So there's no point in me trying to go in there and talk to her early in the morning. But yeah, um Oh yeah, I got a lot going on this week. And I'm mostly just thinking about the pain. I'm in pain now. And I really just want to take one dose of Tylenol. But I did good this entire month. We're on what day today is what? The 17th, September 17th, y'all. And I have yet to take any Tylenol this month at all. So I'm proud of myself. No ibuprofen, no pain medicine at all. But that started like the end of August. So I've been doing amazing. Yeah, from the pains I was having, I've been doing amazing. I've just been hanging in there, real life pushing through as I usually would have. Side the point, it's the end of the night. I'm tired. I'm gonna go get in bed. I fed my baby. I just got to change her diaper before I go to bed, and we in our ice cream bar. So I will catch you guys. I feel like I needed to come tell y'all something, but I forgot. So I will catch y'all. Catch you guys in my next video. Yeah.